Hello guys, welcome to the very first session of implementing CRUD operations using Angular version 16 and Spring Boot version 3. So as the name suggests, in this series we are going to see how we can perform the basic CRUD operations using uh, Angular and Spring. And for Angular and Spring, we are going to use the latest versions of it. So for Angular, it is the version 16 and for Spring, it is version 3 while recording this particular series. So in this session, I'm just going to tell you what are all the things that we are going to implement, what is the application that we are going to implement and what are all the things that you will get to know at the end of this particular series. And I will also show you what are the different versions of applications that I have used while creating this particular uh, series or application. So first of all, let me just tell you what is the what are all the exactly things that we are going to implement throughout this series. So as you can see on the screen, we have that four different tiles over here. So very first tile uh, on this tile we are going to work on, which is simple CRUD operation. And there are multiple scenarios that we are going to see around the CRUD operations because CRUD operation is, ju is not just about saving the data into the database and performing some basic operations. There are multiple things which are involved in the CRUD operations. All the different scenarios we are going to cover one by one. But as a start, we are going to start with the simple um, uh, CRUD operations. So let me just click on this particular button and then it will just take you to the new form where you will have to fill the employee details and in this employee details if you just see we have the multiple input fields we have the free text like name number and address then we have the drop down also then we have the radio button and then we have the check boxes also so in this single employee form you will get to know how to work with the different input fields like free text radio drop down and check boxes because whenever we talk about CRUD operations, it is not just about saving the data. It is just a, it is like all about uh, handling the different input fields and working with the different input fields, right? So that is the reason I have tried to uh, incorporate all the multiple input fields that we have into the HTML. Now, once you fill all the data, what it will just do? Let me just uh, fill all the data, something like this and you can just choose a drop down and you can just choose a check boxes something like this and let me just click on save button once you clicked on save button it, it will just take you to the next page which is where you will get to know what are the employee list now what are all the employees who are listed into your database so this is how it will look like in front of every single row you will find two button obviously which will be a delete and edit button delete button will delete this particular record from the database edit button will help you to edit um, a single record so for example if I just want to edit this particular employee then I can just click on edit and I can just click on the details that I want to edit and I can just click on save again and you will get to know uh, all the edited uh, or updated fields over here now along with that we have two different buttons so that we can navigate from our form to the employee list and vice versa so if I just click on this particular button it will just take back me to take me back to the employee creation form and if I just want to see all the employees you can just click on this and it will again take me to the uh, employee list uh, section so this is the basic application that we are going to work on in this series and again um, to develop this series we are just going to use Spring Boot 3 in order to create APIs because we are going to develop a kind of full stack application so we are going to implement APIs and after creating APIs we are going to implement uh, UI also all the related links which I have used while creating this series you will find into a description box. You can just uh, check them out. Now lastly before closing this session I will just take you to the new uh, text where I have given all the versions of Angular and the backend versions that I have used. You can just maybe take a screenshot of it and you can just uh, like try to install um, the similar versions to it so that you can work on this particular series without uh, having any issues of versions so i hope you got the idea like what is what are all the things that we are going to implement in this series if you still have any questions let me know into the comment section and we can try to work together at any point of time while working in this series if you get any questions you can just connect with me on instagram or maybe you can just put your question into a comment box and we can just try to uh, work on it together i hope you got the idea like what are all the things that we are going to learn in this series and I hope you will definitely enjoy this series. So thanks for watching this session. You can just stay connected with me.